have. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I, I'd like to continue on, on that line if I could. Um, could I ask you, you were not obligated to bring absolutely everything uh, to the Minister of National Defence. Is that correct? That's correct. So therefore, we would be correct in saying that you used your discretion in terms of what you brought forward to the Minister of National Defence. Where I had the opportunity to use discretion, I did. And that discretion would be around the severity or the seriousness that you felt in your own opinion that was therefore worthy and something that the minister should know. That's correct. So by bringing this particular allegation to the minister, one could infer that you interpret it as serious enough that the minister needed to know. That's correct. So you and the minister do not have the same authority. Is that a fair statement? For sure. And that the abilities, authorities, and responsibilities that you have are different from the Minister of National Defense? Yes. The CDS is the same, not the same level, but you have no authority over the Chief of the Defense Staff. That's correct. The only person in between you, the CDS, the JAG, the Deputy Minister who has authority over the CDS is the Minister of National Defense. Is that correct? That's correct. So what you could do with the information is far different from what the minister could do with the information. That's correct. And so would the minister need a reason, in your opinion, as the minister, to do his own and, and investigate sometimes has a, a clinical definition term, but just to look into the matter? I believe he could have. So he could have looked into the matter even if he just heard a whisper on the street and he could have decided that this was a whisper about the highest officer in the Canadian forces. And he could have said, said I think I, I need to make sure that I have the right person with the right honor, integrity, code of service discipline in that position. Would that be a fair statement? Yes, I consider that a fair statement. So in terms of options, he could have spoken directly to the CDS about the allegations. He could have spoken to other senior members. He could have perhaps convened a board of inquiry. He could have employed a third party. He had many more options at his disposal in this particular instance than you did. Is that to your understanding? That's correct. So to say that uh, it was treated, that he should treat the chief of the defense staff like he would treat any other corporal or, or major is probably not a fair statement, and we shouldn't be interpreting how the minister behaves towards the chief of the defense staff in the same manner as perhaps all other members of the Canadian forces. Agreed. How all right, um, I'm, a, I'm afraid uh, the time is up and on. Thank you very much. On to Mr. Spengeman, please. Madam Chair, thank you very much. I, I have one question for Mr. Walburn, and we'll split the remainder.